Hey, good morning, everyone. How are we doing? So, uh, as Daniel said, uh, I'm actually a business mentor, um, uh, but my clients call me the scalability coach. And I'm also the author of the book, I Don't Work Fridays. I do know it's a Friday today, but I don't think it's actually classified as working. So, <laughs> give you some background. Uh, I started my first business in uh, 1991, and I sold that business in, in 96 and in 97. Now, if you can do that, that's a really good trick to do. And I ended up in 2004 being a CEO in a PLC. And I took a, a loss-making business into the multi-million pound profit and eventually ended up with 120 million turnover. So life was pretty good. And I want to take you on a bit of a journey to show you how things change. Because uh, in February the 18th, 2010, life was really good for me. My, my wife's bags were packed. Actually, I don't mean she was leaving me. I just meant they were packed. <laughs> And, and uh, sorry, Jackie, you're up there, aren't you? Um, and the reason they were packed is because we were expecting our first child, and it was very exciting. Uh, we just started a, a new venture with the world's top rental company, and that rental company was about to sign a long-term contract with us, and we'd only been doing it for six months. So everything was great. And then on the 19th of February, February everything changed, because our baby daughter came into this world for the briefest of moments, and then she left us on the same day. And, and that changed my world and Jackie's world massively. We didn't quite know what to do. We were all out at sea. And I realised at that point in time that the corporate life was no longer for me. I, I couldn't stay in the corporate life. I had to do something different. But I didn't quite know what to do. So what we did is we obviously pulled together and, and we invested a little bit of money and bought a little franchise business. And that franchise business grew quite well. Uh, what I also did was uh, I, I enrolled in a, what they call a mastermind group. And a mastermind group is where you sort of sit around a table and you discuss your business with other businesses. Uh, and my job was actually to be there to try and find out what I could do next because my head was all over the place. So for sort of three or four months, all I did was talk about where I thought I could go, what I wanted to do. I didn't quite know where it was going to take me. And I just gave some a bit of advice and support. And one of the members there, who, who runs a very successful courier business, actually said, after I suggested something for one of their challenges, Martin, you're like my scalability coach. What you do helps me in my business. And by doing that, I've gone away and I've changed things and my business has scaled. And I started to realise I had this sort of, I think Daniel says it, this mountain of information that I thought was a bit irrelevant, really, because I was doing it every day, but these people sat around the table, people like yourself, thought actually this was really useful. And what I needed to do now is I needed to find a way to get out of here and into some kind of format. And I happened to come across a book by some Aussie lad called KPI or something like that. And, and, and by doing that, I realised there was an event like today. So on the 20th of March 2015, I was sat in the audience like, well actually wasn't there, it was, actually it was over there somewhere, and I listened to all these people that came about. And the thing that resonated more than anything was the book, the published Lucy. And I thought, wow, if I could get my thoughts into a situation where I could help people, because that's what they wanted from me, help them to scale their business, that would be great. So what happened is I, I went on the course and, I, and I, I wrestled with what I was doing. As Daniel said, I pivoted a few times. I changed things around. And what the result was, was this, which was I Don't Work Fridays, which uh, actually came out this Monday, just gone. And it went straight into Amazon number one bestseller for a small business entrepreneur. Thank you. Now, I, I, there was no way I could have done what I did because I didn't value the knowledge that I had in my head at all. Uh, I just thought it was common sense. What my clients were telling me at that time, it was big business thinking, but for small, medium entrepreneurs. So what we did is we immediately scaled the book <laughs> and, and we created a new concept called Why Work Fridays, which is sort of the product side of what we do, of a, a, a piece of work that actually takes people from stage A to stage B, C, D and E through how to scale their business. And, and it made a huge impact. So today we are oversubscribed as a, as a company. We're growing. Our business is changing continually. We're looking at new offices and new staff. And things are looking really, really good for us. Um, 2015 was an incredible year. Uh, we started off the year being uh, voted the business mentor of the year. And then in the end of the year, we ended up uh, at one of Daniel's events being um, second in the profile of the year. Unfortunately, we lost out to some guy 
on the apprentice called Richard. I, you might speak to him later or something. But, um, but I was okay with that. And I know Richard from, from my old days anyway, which was really good. When I started on this journey, I honestly thought my role was to help businesses scale. Uh, and I realised I was so wrong. My role is to help businesses scale so their owners can choose what they do with their tomorrow. And that was what we realised as a family, because Jackie and I know what we do with our tomorrow, because in 2011, on October the 24th, our twins were born. And from that, that's what we do now. We, we don't work Fridays at all anymore, apart from today with Daniel. So thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of today. I hope my story has been useful. And um, thank you again.